since launching our Beyond the Barometer series this week, going in-depth on weather and climate, we're already getting questions from you. Uh, this viewer asks, I've been wondering how to keep my grass from dying. Recent rains brought green, uh, some green back, but not much. Should I continue to water or let my grass go dormant again? Well, again, a lot of that depends on where you are, but we asked uh, Dole Soldat, a lawn expert at UW, and he says most of this area has Kentucky bluegrass. That's our dominant lawn grass in Wisconsin. So it could survive maybe six weeks or more with no rain. Uh, you don't need irrigation for that. So now the soil moisture has returned to normal levels, at least in some areas, the grass should be again to break some of that dormancy and start to grow new leaves. Uh, there's no reason to water unless you've recently had a uh, late sod or seeded. You know, obviously for that you need to, to make sure, but so we don't just, yeah, just, yeah, don't, don't worry. Uh, you know, if your lawn hasn't turned green yet, you know, you're, not you're, alone. you're not alone. I got a spot right in, off my patio. It's just dust. So we'll see what happens. Well, you can water there. That'll bring it back. Well, and there used to be a tree, the neighbor's tree, and they cut that down. So this is the first summer this grass is not at head shade. Yeah, so, you know, the, you know that might be a, a consideration mm -hmm. for those areas because they've, they've been green in the past, but now this year I they're going to need some yeah. water. Grass does not die. It goes dormant. It, it will dormant. come back. So I guess it's just personal choice. Hey, at least you don't have to mold along that. That's there. right. That's, see that? Yeah. you got to look on the right there, side. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, Gary, thank okay. you. Thank you.